What's up, everybody? It's Jeremy from Berkshire Bike and Board, and this is everything you need to know about stage 20 of the 2023 Tour de France. Or in Thibaut Pinot, country today. It was quite interesting. I'm in my little French class for the day. 130 kilometers in the mountains from Belfort to Le Marc Stein, Fellarine. Not bad. Bumpy day today, up and down, a lot of climbing, last day in the mountains, tomorrow's a Champs-Élysées, so everybody's trying to get their kicks out. I was pretty interested to see what was gonna happen today, so I woke up quite early and watched the whole entire stage from start to finish, which I haven't really done yet. I've watched a lot of it, but th this was really a, a marathon, if you will, for me, and a nice way to kind of end out the tour, even though we do have one day to go tomorrow, but I'm gonna ride my bike tomorrow, so. Right off the bat, polka dot guys are going for it. Ciccone goes off the front, Paulus tries to go with them. They're kind of going back and forth, neck and neck. Paulus got the first one, I believe, and then Ciccone got like the next two after that, up and over the top of the mountains, got the KOM points, and it that sealed the deal there. He's looking strong. Still think that kit looks ridiculous, but also kind of fun, but why don't people take us seriously? That's part of the reason why, but um, yeah, it was good to see him get the win on that. And then from there, we, the, the big boys got to work. You know, like I said before, we were in Thibaut Pinot country. It's his last tour. This is his 10th tour, I believe, 10 in a row. He's won a few stages, pretty amazing career. He was off the front. He was in a breakaway and it was it was pretty interesting. The fans came out in absolute droves for him and he did not disappoint. So two climbs to go, there's a breakaway. I believe it was, oh man, I'm not gonna remember. Ciccone and a couple other guys. Thibaut Pinot is in the chase group. He bridges up to the breakaway guys and rides right through him, which is pretty awesome. He's 33 years old, which is how old I am. I think he's actually 32. So he's getting up there as far as pro tour age bracket, but the guy has still got the stuff, especially on the uphills. We all know he can't go downhill to save his life, but but it really looks going good uphill. And I mean, there was fans everywhere. Every single sign, Tebow, Tebow, Tebow. It's just fun to see like, you know, if somebody is coming through their hometown or something and you you know the fans are gonna be there to support them and like you give them what they want. You know, he was off the front. He was by himself. It was like, is he gonna win the stage today? And I think it was pretty obvious considering like Tade and Jonas were less than a minute behind or about a minute and 15 seconds, I believe, at behind at the... The, the furthest that he probably wasn't going to win because there was two climbs to go. And these, the, Tane and Jonas can reel, reel in anybody if they're behind a minute or less in a mountain stage quick, like in less than five minutes, less than a few minutes, realistically. So it was pretty obvious that he wasn't going to win, but I was almost like, are they going to let him win? Like it's kind of romantic, bike racing, France, in his hometown, last tour. I'm not a huge fan of the French guys because I think they whine a lot, but I was kind of rooting for him. Trivia, last last French cyclist to ever win the tour, I'm going to give you the answer to that. It's Bernard Hino, the Badger, back in the day. He's a badass. I wouldn't want to race bikes with him, but basically what he says is the French cyclists have gotten too lazy. They don't want to work hard, which means they're not going to win any more tours, and you know... Given the standings lately, it doesn't look like he's too far off from that. Anyways, shout out to Tebow on his last tour. Great ride. He goes up and over and he, you know, he kind of gives it on the descent, but like he can't really give it compared to the other guys. We start going up the last climb of the day and we have this power th thruple, if you will. Thruple? Yeah, power thruple. Tade, Jonas, and Felix Gall is starting to be in that group. I think it's going to be super exciting to watch what this guy brings to the table over the next few years. I think we're going to see a lot of those three. Uh, I hope they don't do what a lot of teams do and like send them to the Vuelta or the Giro to try and win. I, the guy's good to go for the tour. You know, he won the Queen stage the other day. He clearly can can put some work in, in the mountains. So like, if you're going to go big, go home. If you're going to, if you're going to, what is it? If you're going to go for it, go for it. Go for the tour. So anyways, those three are together. And then actually what's even crazier about that is Adam Yates and Simon Yates bridge up to those three. You know, they're kind of doing the cat and mouse thing. They were letting Felix Gall pace. And while letting him pace, and I think Tade was doing it intentionally, obviously, is he wanted to get Adam Yates up in that group with him because then all of a sudden he had a teammate and it made all the difference. What happens? They go around, they go up the last final climb and there was basically a, a couple K flat, 180 degree turn, and then a couple K kind of slight uphill falls flat to the finish line adam yates catches him he knows what to do he goes right on the front i almost wanted to see adam yates when i thought it'd be kind of cool if toddy pulled him in for the win but thing is if you do that you don't guarantee your team the win whereas if adam yates pulls toddy in it's a guaranteed win and sure enough adam yates gets in the front he's pulling in toddy Jonas actually makes a break for it and gets the jump but he just doesn't have that explosivity that toddy has Tade, after being completely dragged from the mud the last few days in just survival mode, just boom, goes, gets the win. He go, uh, He's just so fun to watch. I, I think, like, it takes a special person to be completely defeated in the GC and then still just come out and just be fired up and just win the stage. You know, like, there, there's, like, an element of greatness on our hand, whether it's Tade or Jonas. Like, they're, they're special bike riders, and we'll remember them for a long time, and I, I can't wait to see what's come. So, for tomorrow, Champs-Élysées. We're going to Paris. 
I'm going next year. Jasper Phillipson's probably going to win. If anybody else wins, that's quite a surprise. It's been an amazing to so, tour so far, and I hope you've all enjoyed watching this. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, round up for distance, round up for time. Thanks for watching.